Hey there, Sarah McDonald here. Day five of our challenge of supporting healthcare workers and essential services workers so that you have ideas, support, and resources that help you to stay resourceful and resilient on the other side of this pandemic. So here's the suggestion today. Build in as much structure as you possibly can. And I know you're working extra hours, your schedules are changing, um, probably you're working later and longer than you ever have before. And what other structures could you put some parameters around? Could there be control over? I know for me, my business has pivoted so quickly. It has been like working six, seven days a week and it's exhausting. We had to put some structure in for our family so that I knew that as hard as I was working, I knew that my family, my kids were getting time into school seven days a week. My husband was getting his work done. We had regular healthy meal time and we had systems in place to be able to do that. It even meant that we had to start ordering our groceries a week ahead of time just to simply get on the delivery schedule. So what structure do you feel like you're missing in your life or your family's life? Anything that takes up mental real estate, what is taking up mental and emotional real estate that if any, if there was a bit of structure to it, you could put that in place. And I know there's so much that is completely outside of our control right now during the pandemic. What is within your control? And you know what, just like we talked about yesterday, asking for help, just because you identified that that structure needs to be in place doesn't mean to say you need to be the person in your house or in your life or in your community that puts it in place. You can ask for help for somebody to help you put that structure in place too. Guaranteed, if you put some new rituals, some new practices in place that allow you and all the people that you love, you live with and you care about to have structure, I think you'll find it just feels a little bit easier in an incredibly challenging time. Thank you, thank you so much for what you do. And if there's anything you can think of that I can help with, I hope you reach out to me. Sarah with an H at greatnessmagnify.com.